Neon first appeared in France and was brought to Los Angeles by car dealer Earl C. Anthony, who saw the potential of adding more of his cars to the road using these brightly colored lights. The first neon sign was erected at 7th and Flower, and LA ground to a halt. Neon signs were erected at every major thoroughfare, usually in the line of sight of drivers at red lights. The signs became part of pop culture and conjured up images of smoke-filled bars, sax players, and leggy women in search of a good time. LA novelist Raymond Chandler once wrote, there ought to be a monument to the man who invented neon. The winds of World War II brought an end to the neon age when Mayor Fletcher Boron ordered all signs turned off so the enemy could not use them to target the city. After the war, some signs were relit, but many found to neglect. Los Angeles Raymond Chandler wrote of had become a memory. It remained that way until the 1990s when the city refurbished and relit many of the classic signs such as the one above the Broadway Hollywood. Many signs erected in the last century are now burning brightly in the 21st century. Neon lighting wasn't just limited to business signage but also found its way into traffic control with Econolite's exposed to neon pedestrian signals. These signals are no longer used, but are much sought after by collectors. Although Raymond Chandler never got his monument to the creator of Neon, there is a museum inclusive of Neon traffic signals, among other things. Well, originally it started as just a collection. I was just uh, interested in collecting signals, mostly of the Southern California style styles that I remember that were slowly changing into other uh, types. So I wanted to preserve the, the historical uh, signals I remembered as a child here and growing up in Southern California. But then from there it grew into um, collecting signals from all around the country because I had visited other parts of the country and um, another favorite place we like to go to in, in Iowa where grandmother lived. Um, I was interested in those signals as well, the different styles and started noticing how the differences in them. From there it just grew into um, multiple different styles of signals and stuff and then when the internet came along um, it became I thought of the idea of a virtual museum, that people could come and, and start seeing that signals aren't all the same, that there is a difference. So that's kind of how it grew from that, it was just an idea of coming up with a virtual museum. And from there, coming into maybe an actual museum that people could visit. This is the Wait Walk design. Wait Walk probably came out in the late 50s because it is Econolite. Econolite uh, took over production from GE in 1956, so this would have to be after that, but yet it's... Um, not too, you know, new or old um, in that it uses wait, walk versus walk, don't walk. Now, let me ask you, how do you, how do you keep these things working when they, when they start to break down? And I remember when I used to see some of the signs, they'd start flickering and everything like that. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Do you take them just to a regular neon shine mm -hmm. shop? And yeah, luckily I had a problem with one of my other ones that a sign had fallen on it and broke uh, one. I think it was the walk. Uh, tubing and I was able to take it to a neon shop and they were able to, to reproduce the color and the, uh, the lettering so I was glad to know that you can do that um, same with the transformers the weight on both of these had worn out because the indication had been on so long over the years that the transformer just wore out over time and I was able to find uh, a transformer from a neon company with a similar output and, and voila it works great the wait walk command gave way to the more familiar walk don't walk commands when traffic standards were revised. These signals are still widely remembered by Southern California natives. They were manufactured by Los Angeles based Econolite Corporation. Okay. Oh, yeah. And that's the exposed tube uh, neon walk don't walk uh, with the tubes basically suspended in space with the little attachment points there and creating the words walk and don't walk. Uh, the walk was behind the don't walk, so it would glow through the, uh, the orange or the clear tube when it's off, but it would turn orange when it's lit. So you'd have two, two types of neon in the walk indication and then a, the don't in its own place. Now one of the most interesting things I find about these signals is, is whoever made these signals uh, must have been an English teacher because they bothered to put the apostrophe, <laughs> apostrophe. in there. Yep, you notice that. This is one of the only styles of signals that was able to use that utilized the apostrophe and made it correct. Most of them eliminated that. Econolite observed all grammatical roles when designing these signals by adding the apostrophe in the word don't. Um, then 
Come the 80s, they started getting phased out. Now, were these popular around the country? Because the only place I really know them being in wide use, of course, California. Is, is California. Yeah, this particular style that I know of was only used in California. Krauss Heinz made a similar style, but the don't and walk were side by side. And those were used in um, Washington, D.C. and a couple of other places. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was uh, basically a longer... A long sign. Yeah, it said don't walk. And uh, there's, a, I think, a picture on the club of it. Neon is light in a tube. All air is replaced by gases such as neon, argon, helium, or krypton. A sealed vacuum is created, and a high voltage current of 2 to 15,000 volts causes these gases to emit light. This is the neon walk, don't walk that uses a plastic legend in the front. Mm -hmm. Now, did those plastic legends like most other things become brittle over time yeah. and crack away? Yeah, eventually with sun exposure and such they can become brittle. As it is, this one hasn't Ooh. hasn't been opened in a while. Little WD-40 you say? Yeah. There we go. Getting there. There we go. Come on, there we go. <laughs> now this, unlike the other uh, exposed to neons, don't have they have they have the uh, the appearance of the words that they're supposed to be, but except for the walk portion. But this looks like it's an insert. It looks like mm -hmm. it's an insert into what could have been another another type of signal. Mm -hmm. Could you give us some give us an idea about that? Yeah, I mean this. I think this one was made for this style, actually, but uh, a lot of times they were modified um, with the, the case being made for one type of signal head, and then as things became different and more efficient, they would you know, basically gut it out and put new modules in their place. Uh, this one, I think, was for this style of signal. Uh, I can't, it won't let me do it with it on, but um, if you want, I can turn it off and we can look back there. Yeah, it looks like we can do that in a little bit. Sure. Sure. All right, I'll take it down. All right. Okay, and then when I pull off this, you can see how the two transformers here, basically these mate with these little holes here, and that controls the walk and the don't walk by the transformer. I think this is the don't walk and this is the walk transformer. And it goes through a fuse, uh, fusible link there. and. Uh, just that easy. These are pretty heavy because of these uh, neon transformers. But now this whole this whole uh, device is indicator control, so it was made. It was indeed made for that. Yeah. But they, they did make these types of uh, packs to uh, refit the econo lights yes. and some of the others that were in. Yeah, and I'll show you. I have one coming on down the line here that was retrofitted into. Neon began disappearing from the traffic landscape in the 1980s when cheaper and easier to maintain incandescent units were chosen as replacements. However, if you look hard enough, you can still find a few neon econolites in service around LA. Raymond Chandler, wherever you are, we know you're proud.